good? Your hands up there? Other hand? You good? Yeah. All right. All right, go, Luke. Go. Go. My name is TJ Spruitt. I've been with the police service for we started 15 years here right away. And uh, this here is Shay. Shay is uh, he's just shy of three months old here, and uh, he's full of life, as you can probably see. Go through, buddy. Good oh boy. Yeah, we boy. decided to take him on as a pup here because the, the kids have been bugging us for a while here to get another pup. So Shay fits in line perfectly with the boys. As you can see, I built an obstacle course here, and it's uh, on the sled. In a lot of ways, it works out well because they wear each other out. Okay. Oh. Kind of put the bales up for the boys just to run around back there, and then as soon as I let Shay out, he took a liking to it and started chasing the boys around. I added this kind of the second feature here, and then as far as the zip line, I added that as well. He doesn't really like to share the zip line all that much. He likes to to hang on to it, and the boys kind of complain with it because they don't get to go as fast as they'd like to. Um, but Part of the socialization process, like I said, is exposing him to, to absolutely everything. So not every dog is going to get a chance to go around hay bales and go down zip lines and stuff like that. Um, we have great neighbors uh, all around us here. Neighbor next door, he has a duck pond with, with four ducks in there. So Shay's been exposed to them and uh, he tries to play with them, but they run away into the water and he goes after them, but uh, he obviously has a tough time keeping up to them. Uh, from the time that we got him to the time that we have him now, he's almost doubled in size. He's so scared? Oh, he's just not sure of it, that's all. He's trying to get that stick. There he goes. My kids will definitely attest to that because when we first got him, he couldn't keep up to them and now he keeps up to them pretty good and he usually catches them. Here, bud. Some water? Yeah. Some water? If you were to ask my three boys, I think the one complaint that they would have is that uh, Shay has some pretty sharp nails because every time he catches up to the boys and they play on the bales or if they're ripping around through the yard, and sometimes he gets them, well, he'll scratch them a bit, but uh, he's just being playful and whatnot. We're pretty unique in the sense that we're only one of the two municipal agencies that, that have a breeding program, us and uh, LAPD. So to be able to get this experience is pretty phenomenal because for the most part, guys usually don't get dogs until about a year. When I'm at work, we take him to as many different kind of things as we can. He's done the gold eyes game. He's been to bombers practice. Yeah, anything we can do uh, basically to expose him to different things, which is ultimately uh, very important for the dogs. Too interested in the... I grew up out in the country and we always had dogs growing up as well. Come here, bud. Shay, here. So for me to get into the unit, it was somewhat natural because, uh, like I said, I've been exposed to dogs all my life. It's been a great experience. Okay, look at me! Come on, Joe! All right, come on, buddy. Come on, Jake.